everybody, welcome to the Pacific Northwest. I flew into Seattle yesterday morning. Uh, I spent the day in Seattle, largely drinking coffee and meandering around like a tourist. And then I met up with Jan of Renee Harris Tires, my tire sponsor, and had a wonderful dinner. And then I took the ferry across to the Olympic Peninsula, where I am now, outside of the town of Quilcene, for an event. The Bon John Pass Out kicks off tomorrow. June 15th, good late spring event. I'm very excited to be in the Pacific Northwest for a gravel event because I've never actually been up here. So the way the course works out, is there's a 30, a 50, and an 80 mile race. We uh, might have some interesting weather coming in with, a, with the forecast of golf ball sized hail and lightning. Here I am north of 3,000 feet. I'm approaching 4,000 feet in altitude, which is pretty impressive because I started the day at sea level and I've basically exclusively been climbing as I ride the short course as a little shakeout today. So I'm, what, 15 miles in, approaching 3,500 feet. This is, uh, this is a challenging race. So the name like Bon John Pass, it harkens on three things. One, of course, the Bon John Pass itself. Two, the Bon John Pass, 35 mil tire by Renee Hearst, slick, a wonderful tire that I use largely on my road bike. And three, the Bon John Pass Out, the name of this event. Because if you're gonna be climbing for the better part of, what, an hour and a half now, you kinda wanna pass out when you get up this high. It's also quite fitting that today is June 14th, I think, yeah, June 14th. It's a Friday. It's the Tour Divide Day. Looking around here at the grandeur, the enormity of the Cascade Mountains. It reminds me so much of rolling out of Banff exactly one year ago at the start of my Tour Divide. So it's really neat to see the enormous pine trees, the snow-capped mountains. Not something you tend to see in Vermont this time of year. So it's cool to do a little dot watching. It's cool to do a little bit of bike racing myself. And it's awfully nice to know that I have a maximum of 80 miles to ride tomorrow rather than 2,800, as they did at Tour Divide. Anyway, that's my shakeout. What do you say we do a little bike check? So this is the tried and true Cannondale Super 6 Evo SE. If you watched the bike check from Unbound just a few weeks ago, this is the same bike. Zip Firecrest 303 wheels, 46 front, 1050 rear. I have the new SRAM ETAP axis shifters. Super powerful shifters. That is one of the most noticeable things. Really comfortable ergonomics. I love that. There's some really long descents here, so I'm happy to have the, the power of the single finger braking. But what you see here, it's fitting that this is a tire sponsor that is so prominent in this race. I'm running the 700 by 44 Manistash Ridge in Endurance Plus casing. Now here we are on either end of the country. I'm on the west coast. The ground, the terra firma is a little bit more terra softa. It's a little bit more loamy. It's the kind of place that you see even on the paved roads, you see moss encroaching in the middle of the road. You see plants growing out of the paved road. So, especially if it's gonna be precipitating tomorrow, I'm uh, very confident in the knobby tires. Really love these. I've been using them since they were debuted sometime last year, middle of last year. Um, Endurance Plus casing is my tried and true, especially in places that I'm not familiar with what the ground is like. So just knowing that I can sort of bash over rocks and all sorts of sharp, terrain is very confidence inspiring. Here I am, having started in a bright sunshiny day. Um, it is now a little bit more overcast. It's been spitting rain a little bit. It is foggy up here. So I'm gonna put on my oh, Velocio ultralight jacket. 
tomorrow, I'll probably ride with a Concept Merino jersey. Um, easy access with the ultralight cargo bib shorts. You know, if it's gonna be, say, 40 some odd degrees at the start and precipitating and climbing up to over, over 3,500, approaching 4,000 feet, there's no sense in being cold and wet and miserable. So, prepare for the worst and hope for the best. That's all I got. Time to go for a little descent. Adios, muchachos. Wow, that was very exciting. I uh, finished up with the W, which is very, very nice. It's, uh, it's, it's a little bit rewarding to wrap up like that after a day like today where <sighs> filthy. Okay, that's part of the adventure. Um, I was shivering for a good portion of the day. Turns out when you get up to 3,800 feet and then have a long, cold descent, you get kind of chilly at the start of the day when it's 48 degrees. Anyway, very, very pleased with the day. Um, nice, nice time here in Quill Scene. I'm gonna get cleaned up. I'm gonna shower up. I'm gonna wash off the bike and enjoy a hot meal and a cold beer.